Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm doing a short follow-up vid. This is my contribution for today. I got so much work. I'm so excited about all the stuff that I'm learning and um, I'll be sharing a little bit of law today and I want you guys to recognize war crimes. Um, this is definitely very near and dear to me because I'm going to put up um, a news report of something I already knew, a lot of people already knew, and that's why I get so frustrated sometimes, especially with the men out there, you know, um, we need you guys to <clears throat> step up and flex your rights. That's why I love learning um, from different people that do that, because I try to inspire my husband to do it, and people are just, and he's uh, 10 years older than me, and um, it's really like he was trained too well too well with that Willie Lynch shit to like you know go along to get along and I fear for a lot of women because we are you know trying to be um everything all the time and we can't always be the protector you know um that wasn't our role but we're put in in the position that we do and a lot of us have more courage to stand up for our rights um, because at these jobs guys you really need to know straight up a war crime when it's in front of you okay um, I got the law here um, you know I'll go into the definition title 18 is a really great reference the US code subsection 2441 under the subheading war crimes and you go into the war crimes and uh, torture because a lot of what they're doing when they ask you to do these um, let's see medical requests that have nothing to do with your so-called job a lot of people don't realize that this is against the Nuremberg war crimes and the you know from everything that happened in World War II um, cruel or inhumane treatment. I mean, these people need to be responsible for having you do whatever. And I'm going to show you with these take-home tests that everybody was rushing to get. Um, in my husband's case, he um, was a bit sick. Could have been uh, pollution. It could have been flu from whatever flu a lot of people say that could be from fluoride I mean it's the first three letters for crying out loud um so um he if you take more than one or two days off now at these stupid jobs you know I keep um encouraging him to be an entrepreneur I keep you know that's why I'm learning so much to try to lighten the load so one day that can happen because us women do not want to lose our husbands prematurely. But if you don't stand up for yourself, like how many things can your body take? And people are so quick to sell out for a few days off of paid work. Um, is it really worth it? I mean, they know what they're doing, okay? Um, why not send them a conditional acceptance? Like, excuse me, that's just an offer. And um, you let them know how it's not cruel or inhumane or a certain biological experiment leading to this or mutilation. You see what D says in E, right? It's almost, it is, a, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's straight up conspiracies. Intentionally causing bodily harm. Especially when they knew what was in the stuff to begin with right and they um tell you later that it's bad for you you know you this is severe mental pain. i tell people like what's the harm just looking up some people have no attention span but you know i love my husband but he'll spend two hours watching a bullshit movie that is not going to help anybody in the long haul and um you see these men they watch movies of like people exhibiting bravery and all that but they're on the sidelines like a spectator like why can't you flex that in real life why can't you be inspired you know it's it's tough you know not to take away from all the wonderful qualities about this person but this is not the time to go along to get along okay especially when you're in a so-called silent war 
and um, when we do paperwork, like I encourage everyone to do your own. You just need an affidavit. You just need to you send them a damn notice, you know. And I'll share some of my stuff because I um, did certified mail for the first time using just the laws. And it was accepted yesterday. So I'm going to check again. And maybe tomorrow I'll put up a quick vid, you know, showing, you know, how that was done. But like any little thing because we're trying to deal with common law not this maritime admiralty law that they are working with but if you don't know the law you should it's just a wonderful you know it's a wonderful um field to delve into to understand people's rights right and they're being violated every day i've seen people get extraordinary settlements because of the violations these entities do and you have to let them know that you see it though right or it's almost agreement like you're allowing them to abuse you right so my um husband was told that to get back to work he had to take a take home test right a take home um covid test and um he bought one and i'm like oh i hope they reimburse you i'm like you're really gonna put that you know you, sh you know and i was already warning like listen why don't you stand up for your this is the time now a lot of these incidents are because the most high is putting you at a crossroad you're either gonna bow the freak down and lick the master's boot or you're gonna freaking stand up for yourself right when is enough gonna be enough so he ended up taking it and just to be able to get paid i'm like whatever 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 when you cite your paperwork, we don't like to cite the codes themselves, but actually you go to the bottom. This is from Cornell Law School. You want to cite where it's recorded in the public law. So I would, you know, go down here and I would use these, you know, you can use the verbiage, but you don't want to cite the codes codes. You know what I mean? You want to go to the actual, what is that, positive law. But if you guys haven't seen this, oh my cost they tell you way later way later okay poison control issues warning about the take-home rapid antigen test okay so hmm now for the 60 million people who are receiving those free government issued at home COVID tests. The extraction tube in many of the kits includes a chemical that can be harmful or even deadly. It's colorless, tasteless, odorless. It's a powder that's found in things like airbags and pest control solutions. Maya Belay from our Cleveland station checks in with poison control for a look at the potential dangers. Ohio poison control centers are sounding the alarm surrounding a liquid substance called sodium azide found in some at-home COVID testing kits that could be toxic to children as well as adults if used incorrectly. Our toxicology community has been both surprised that this was the ingredient in some of the kits and also concerned. We have seen exposures in all age groups. The Drug and Poison Information Center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital reports an increase in calls to their hotline related to accidental exposure to the substance. So far, nearly 40 exposures were reported there, and the problem is nationwide. We are one of 55 poison control centers, and nationwide other poison centers have been reporting a similar finding, and there have been more than a couple of hundred exposures nationwide sodium azide and test kits. Doctors advise parents to keep the kids out of reach of children and when testing children for COVID at home to make sure they are supervised in order to avoid any adverse side effects from exposure. Sodium azide can be toxic to humans, to animals, uh, and things that it can cause that we would want to look out for would be like low blood pressure, weakness, fatigue, people passing out. If an accident occurs, call the nearest poison control center. The dose makes the poison, and the dose of sodium azide in these kits is very small, and the exposures that have, we have seen has been a small amount of that. Experts say following instructions is key. Some adults actually end up using the potentially harmful substance to swab their nose because they didn't follow direction. Yeah, and that's what my husband did. I was like, why did you swab it? That wasn't how to do it. He's like, that's what the directions told me to do. 
who knows, right? But that's what they wanted for you, right? Like, wh why didn't you just take your saliva and put it on the thing? You really let that... T I'm like, you see how it's Willie Lynch? They have you poison your own self. You don't even got to go somewhere and they stick the freaking swab down. You're like, oh, because you did it to yourself, it's okay. You understand? You know, this is the frustration. You know, it's tough. It's a tough fight. And you're going to have it in, you know, your own um, small circle, too. Because people act like, oh, they're so woke, they're so this. No, they're not. And I'm like, listen, you can't fool me. Like, hey, you're doing it to yourself, but at the same time, you know, don't um, go exposing yourself so much. And then, you know, here I am trying to be careful, you know. So, sodium azide. Okay, it's already known that it's a ionic substance it's highly soluble in water and it's very acutely poisonous very okay this that's how it looks the molecule but okay so they're gonna claim only a few had it but like why would any have it right right Unless it's all, you know, of course, because they're going to play dumb for people who are so intelligent. They really know how to, like, let a bunch of crazy shit slide. As if this was all written about long ago and have been put in our face, you know. You know, it doesn't end. Mm-hmm. You can check that website. Stopthecrime.net is a good one. Um, and I also had this up, I have this app, this is a, a PDF, a very important, you need to download this while you can. This is an explosive study, explosive study that came out of Sweden from the Department of Clinical Sciences, Infection Medicine, Department of Clinical Sciences, Lund University. This is really hard to put online. If you want, you can, um, I've also put it on my business page. I upload stuff on here whenever I can. <clears throat> and of course, you know, most of it probably falls on deaf ears. But I'm trying, guys. I put this same, and I put it on public. I also have a Diadash, too. That's Kadesh Gardens. And um, you can always visit me on my Dia Dash Facebook. I did a whole makeover with my banner so it can all look alike, so you can recognize me. And I put a lot of stuff on public too, you know. So if you if you're ever curious, but this is a groundbreaking study that totally blew, just it's blowing all the lies out of the water, guys. But you know, I tried to read it. And this is what got me taken down. Okay, so I'm going to put this for you because, you know, um, all of these war crimes going on, you know, this inhumane treatment that we're all getting, you can't even, you know, speak on it. And you see the videos I've been putting up about the transhumanist movement, which is... You know, that's why I just do everything slow. I try to make short videos as well. That way people can digest it. And because there's just way so much out there. I've been allocating data and research for years now. And, you know, what's the point of me hogging it to myself? You know, the Most High has been so gracious to me. I feel so undeserving half the time. And so I know that he's preserved me so I can also share to others, you know. Um, it's not just to benefit me. So, um, of course, when I try to do that, it's even difficult. A lot of us, you know, we get banned all the time. But that's not going to stop us. We'll just have to be more tactful as all, you know. Because we are in a so-called, what they call World War Three, World War Z, whatever, okay. Um, so this is for all the idiots out there who, you know, are trying to call you a conspiracy theorist for this and that. This is your smoking gun right here. And it's so great. Um, you can download it, back it up, make sure you do it because this is the actual study and improved everything people like us have been saying for the longest.
okay, for the longest. Okay, so make sure you remember 18 U.S. Code, subsection 2441-2441, war crimes. This is from Cornell Law School, learn the law, stay in honor, they're dishonorable, they're doing, you know, that's why they don't teach you this in public schools and all that, and, you know, and they give us so much entertainment, why, to get you off this stuff is boring for most people, actually, this is pretty exciting for me, this is, you know, uh, my cup of tea, so to speak, because I went down the road, um, you know, when I was younger, I was like, I'm gonna be a lawyer, I'm gonna be a businesswoman, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be that, yeah, well, I'm, you know, trying to be the righteous law counsel of the Most High, <clears throat> working for the common law, the, you know, um, dealing with the constitutional government, not this uh, new regime that popped up that is trying to violate every reasonable law and, um, you know, level of morality in this place, and I'm not going to go down without a fight. I'm not, you know, I'm going down swinging, guys, regardless, right? And maybe a lot of us won't go down, right? Um, you know, the wicked think that they're the head and not the tail. They keep saying that, too, on these freaking Christian podcasts. We're the head, not the tail. I'm like, yeah, for now, because you guys are freaking ruling for now. Not for a long time, right? And they, and they forgot that their Christian origins and all the crusades, how they try to hide the books and they try to burn, burn the books of all the Gnosticism, yeah. And how much evil. Look up what the early um, writers thought of Christianity when it first started, what kind of crazy cult that was. Um, they didn't have a good reputation. Right, um, they're lo doing a lot of this shit, right, and calling themselves pious. Like they do now when they try to shadow ban you and they say, it's to keep everyone safe. Because what you're saying is dangerous. You heretic. Mm. You know, you don't have any data. You're just a conspiracy theory. We don't have all, any ulterior motives. We just know this shit is whack from the beginning because it's inherently freaking acutely poisonous. But, haha, uh -huh, we accidentally laced a few. Really? I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, I have to be facetious just to make a point. Right? Because they talk to us like we're some kind of freaking assholes. Right? They do it in many ways we've seen these type of pitches. This is an actual pamphlet that has been, um, this is an actual book. You can check it out. I will read from it sometime because very important source. And that's all that, you know, so much transhuman and they can come in many forms, guys. Okay. And yeah, when you take a biological being and you give it enough chemicals, I mean, what is that going to do? Think of laboratories, think of Frankenstein, think of all the horror movies you've ever thought of, deformities, what that can happen to a fetus even. I mean, really, really, are we that slow? You know, so make sure you remember this term, sodium azide. I'll put this link. This was... <clears throat> Dated February 22nd. I don't know. I'm actually going to like it. I appreciate any type of truth that comes out, even though it's way later and a lot of us were smart enough not to go for this shit. But um, a lot of people, um, did, they're not brave enough. I mean, my husband's 6'2", and I have more guts. I hate to say that. I'm like, why did you let them... Why didn't you at least try... Did you even try to stand up for yourself? Did you even try to say what they're doing is not right? You just went for it? Was it really worth a freaking one week, one measly week, and they chop your freaking and come apart? I'm like, what are you doing, man? You know? And it's like, yeah, you just got to back up and just let people do what they do. They think that, oh, because I'm doing me, that it's, it's not going to pretend, like, you know, it's not going to protect the other partner because you're still responsible for your actions. You know what I mean? We are all responsible for our actions at the end of the day. Your partner can't um, protect you spiritually, you know? Um, we have to all, this is a one of those tight walks kind of thing, you know? Because your partner is not going to be over your shoulder when you're getting tried by the fire, by the Most High, when you're being tested, 
because we're all being tested. Yeah, we're collectively all sharing the same space, but we're on different levels. I was trying to tell someone today, I'm like, I share space with certain people, but we're in different dimensions. I can be like in the damn fourth dimension and you're, you're going down to the second, you know, where the animals are. I mean, really, it's, it's crazy, the level of thinking. It's just, oh, you just lead the sheep to the slaughter kind of thing. And that's what we're going to look like pretty soon in this picture. You think I'm kidding? You don't think somewhere this factory is like that right now? Underground military base is doing that right now? Right. Right. Make sure you download this, guys. Please, for your own sake. Um, especially if you be getting trolled a lot. And you've been trying to warn people. And uh, especially the so-called intellectuals who think they're intellectuals. But they're just automatons. They're just robots. Right. And uh, if you want, you can check me out on Facebook. I always put different information to keep everybody awake. So I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I shall talk to you soon.